practice English by reading out loud. The topic is COVID-19 in the in the eyes in the eyes of locals and experts. Let's get started. As the number of COVID-19 infected cases jumps every day, Vietnam has taken measures to prevent, prevent and control the virus. For example, quarantining those who are spread of infection, those, return, those returning from pandemic hit areas, asking everyone who, who wear face masks in public areas and tightening immigration policies. Vietnamese speaking, sorry, Vietnamese, Vietnamese speaks to locals and experts about the measures and how you, how they feel living in Vietnam during the pandemic. Yati Murray's American expert in Hanoi. All schools are, all schools were expanded, expanded following the virus outbreak, so I do not go to work as the vacant pedestrian street or rather Hoan Kiem Lake, Hoan Kiem, Hoan Kiem Lake. My favorite spot is closed, closed. I mostly stay inside watching movies and cooking as days pass by. I get updates on the virus from Reddit, Hanoi Master Facebook community, and my Vietnamese friends. I have some food, but not much more than normal. Normal. I still go to grocery store, but didn't buy any more toilet paper. The Vietnamese government has had a sniff, swift, swift, and strong response to virus. I think. They've done a good job containing it against all us. I feel safer staying in Hanoi than I would be in the U.S., where the treatment expenses expenses are very expensive, and not everyone gets insurance to cover or partially cover necessary treatments. Billy Gray, Bridget, expert in Hanoi. I feel like Vietnam is doing a good job so far in containing the virus. The immigration and quarantine measures are unfortunately necessary to stop the spread from being important from abroad. I think the timely response of Vietnamese authorities in closing the border with China and later the rest of the world has definitely saved last year. As a foreigner living in Hanoi, I'm quite content to go along with the recommendations and measures put in place by the government here. Frankly, I just glad there's still toilet paper around going around. I have heard some stories of foreigners being verbally assaulted and a refused service in cafes and hotels around Vietnam, and this is quite sad. Unfortunately, I've also heard similar stories coming out of UK, Australia, and elsewhere. People are worried for their family's sake, and there's pawn to shifting the plan on other, on the other. It's something that we should work together to overcome the cover the coronavirus sorry the coronavirus pandemic isn't about to go away anytime soon so i think it's important that vietnam doesn't relax their control measures soon too soon either obviously this causes a lot of negative economic impacts which means a lot of people can't earn a living and I hope that people are imaging sorry people are managing well under the circumstances. The reality of the situation is that until more stringent testing can be carried out around the world, best the defense that 
I think that I think Vietnam has is to keep its borders closed, even though that means that myself and many others who are returning home soon won't be able to come back here for foreseeable future. Living in Vietnam for four years, it never it never creases to surprise me. The earlier measures to the uh, measures the government took were efficient when we compare international cases numbers. Concerning tightening immigration policies, I understand doing it to avoid virus spreading. My only fears fears is not being able to stay in Vietnam that I consider as my country if isn't tightened again. At first, I felt the virus prevention and control measures very restrictive, but as a lot of foreigners, I did not experience a virus outbreak before, and I was maybe, I was maybe too relaxed. Now I wear I wear a mask, not really to be safer because it does not work this way. And I take precautions, washing hands and self-confinement as much as possible. But to protect others and ease Vietnamese people, they sometimes glare at us because they are anxious near foreigners. I do not blame them. Everyone is anxious and we see some negative behaviors all over the world. But these are just isolated cases. A lot of people support support each other up each other too. I'm thankful to Vietnam for measures taken because I feel safe here. We do not have total confinement as in my hometown. I'm home country and Actions are first for smaller confinement of buildings if needed. Vietnam's policy has been spot on as far as I can tell. In my eyes, they have set a benchmark for how the rest of the world should tackle this issue. While the European powers have denied COVID-19, implications Vietnam hasn't messed around. As a foreigner living in here living here, I feel safer than if I was at home. I understand that there has been some friction between foreigners and locals. However, I have not experienced that myself. The government has done good things for rights protection in the name of the immigration policy for those entering the country. However, they haven't addressed the issue of residency, sorry, red, <laughs> residency for foreigners who are already here in a long term. A number of them, my colleagues and friends have labor contracts expiring soon and with it, the legal right to stay here with borders across the world crossing pretty soon many of us will be standing. When it comes when it comes to isolation, I feel the authorities could be stricter. I still see many people, locals and foreigners alike, going about their daily business business and socializing. May don't have masks. I get it. Isolation can be boring and you have to take care of your mental health. But this could be all be over by the end of April if everyone simply knuckled down and stayed inside. At 12 p.m. on March 6, Francis started being up about put up in my neighborhood in on Twicker Street, Taylor District, after the 16th patient who failed to declare her health status after returning from London tested 
positive for COVID nineteen. My neighbor, my neighbor, a reception receptionist at Hong Kong Hospital was reported in contact with the patient and sent to centralized quarantine area that night. A tenant, like medical was in the hair in their helmet seals immediately appeared and sprayed disinfectant along the alley. A task force was sent to inspect my neighbor's contacts since uh, her encounter with the patient and found out, found out that she stopped a nearby grocery store the day before. Both her house and the store were then kept under lockdown. The rapid response did have did helped to ease residents' panic. panic sorry, is residents panic and discrimination towards isolated people. Conversely, they were willing to offer guard forces and those kept under isolation assistance when needed. However, for people who have to home quarantine, it was necessary for local authorities to make an official announcement sent to every household explaining their conditions and the reason for measures taken to stop rumors from spreading. All those citizens are encouraged to stay away from crowds. I had to still commute from Hardong district to downtown Bajio Street by bus daily before being allowed to work from home from thirst Thursday. Drivers, attendants, and passengers wore masks even before the government's request, request took effect on Monday. Now and then, when a rider gets on the bus without have, having their mouth covered, they will be reminded by fellow passengers. Many passes turn off their air conditions and have windows opened, allowing natural circulations of, e of air. Is it good to see how good community awareness and authorities responses to disease are? Meanwhile, I think it is critical to instruct people how to deal with their used face masks to both keep the environment clean and prevent profiteers, profiteers from collected their, collecting them for resale. Thanks for listening. <laughs> it's um, difficult to, to practice for me.